Welcome to Red Cube Broadcast. Today I would like to review the Google Nexus One mobile phone. Uh, it's a nice sleek phone. Um, I imported it uh, just last week um, and um, from this week on I've been playing with this phone. Um, and I was really impressed with the performance of this phone uh, versus the iPhone 3GS which I've been using uh, for the past few months. Now, um, this phone basically is obviously a Google phone uh, with an Android operating system, Android 2, uh, with co-branded by HTC, and uh, it's it's quite sleek. Um, just to give you the dimensions of the phone, this is an iPhone next to the Android. So in terms of the height, they, they look pretty much the same. In terms of the, the width on the side, um, again, um, it, there's a bit of a difference. The, the Google Nexus one is uh, a bit sleeker and smaller. Uh, also, it, you know, the feel on the Nexus one um, is a lot better than the iPhone. Um, I think iPhone, um, they are planning to revamp the iPhone at some time, at some stage, and Apple has been working on it. They just um, announced the iPhone 4 operating system, which covers seven major um, APIs um, that it was lacking. Um, however, our video is only to focus on the Nexus one this time. So let me switch it on um, and it's got this nice screen. Uh, typically the Nexus one has a live wallpaper, uh, which is a moving wallpaper. Uh, and it, it works uh, amazingly well because uh, the Google uh, uh, Nexus one has a very high-end processor uh, than the iPhone. So to unlock, I'll just unlock this phone and um, the, the best part about this phone I liked is, for example, um, you know, with iPhone, you've got to go through multiple pages to find what application you have installed. But with, with this particular phone, you press your finger on the, on the bottom here, and it shows you all the pages together. And I can just jump onto any page I like straight away. Okay? Um, the other thing that I liked about this phone is you can have widgets on uh, different pages. So I have a weather widget. And here I've got a Twitter widget, um, and obviously this is the best part, which is the direct access to your wireless, your brightness of the phone, uh, the syncing, Bluetooth. Um, otherwise, you know, with iPhone, for example, you would have to go through the settings menu and then go and change all those um, things. So now, uh, in terms of the applications, it's uh, the Android Marketplace pretty much has most of the necessary apps I believe it's it's not a gaming phone I, I would not call it a gaming phone but it has all the necessary apps that a user would require to uh, have a smartphone another cool feature about this phone is um, I can voice search anything I can voice search on the phone I can voice search uh, or voice dial uh, and it's got navigation which is only obviously at this stage um, available for the US but just to show you how the navigation looks, if you go to the main screen and main menu, uh, they call it a car home and it comes free uh, with all the Google Nexus One phones so you don't have to buy an application um, to have a navigation active. So with the navigation it's, it's got a cool looking uh, menu here uh, and then you click, uh, either you can obviously press the voice button and give them directions. So I could say uh, navigate me to the Sydney CBD and it would just do the analysis and, and search it for me. Or I can click on the navigation and it lo loads the Google Maps a lot faster. I just enter my destination and it will take me to the maps. Going back to the home screen, now the Nexus one has these four touch buttons here which is the search, home, uh, menu and back button. So I go the back button or the home button. Okay, so I'm back at the home. now. The other feature I want to show you on the maps, which they have recently got, okay, so let me just get back from here, okay, is um, if you hold your thumb on um, any of these points, okay, it will it will pop up with the address there. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but uh, it's very good. Now, if I click on the menu, all right, and I click on more options, okay, this this is the menu I get. Now I go to the labs and this is a direct access from Google Labs which I have added more features uh, onto my map at any point of time which I can keep adding. Okay, So uh, let me go back and show you one of the cool features which is calculating the distance. So if I have to go from one place to the other, say I start from here, so let me say I want to 
I made to the map. So if I start from here and I go to this side of the town, it will give me the exact distance. Okay, so that's that's one of the uh, good features about this map. Going back uh, to the home screen now, and it would have um, like YouTube. Uh, it loads a lot faster. It's um, it's a lot more efficient than um, the iPhone uh, YouTube at this point of time. However, the iPhone 4, which is announced only yesterday, may have a better uh, performance um, on all the videos and YouTubes to load it faster. Then um, I would like to show you the um, the camera, which is a 5 megapixel camera um, with a flash LED at the back. Uh, which is again uh, one of the best features which other typical smartphones won't have um, and what you also have is a gallery feature uh, which is I'll click on any of the galleries and then it's got a 3d I don't have many pictures on, on this phone at the moment because it's only uh, a few days old but um, again if, if I had to look at the galleries it would have more pictures and it's got a nice uh, usability factor to it as well so uh, overall out of 10 I would give about eight and a half to the Nexus one uh, if you would ask and compare it with the iPhone 3GS um, I think they both are unique in their own ways um, in, in different ways but uh, I still prefer the uh, Nexus one until iPhone comes up with the next uh, new model is because of the uh, the overall build of this phone and uh, the the usability and the features of the Android 2 operating system. Um, the other cool thing about the version 2, which I uh, did not mention earlier, is it shows you all the status uh, when you can scroll from up and you can return back. Um, I can see, say, if I um, I can play and add and customize my uh, Nexus One, uh, like the wallpapers, add widgets, which I can't do it on the other phones. Um, another thing is if I press holding the home button, which is here, it will show me all the multiple things that are open at this point, okay? And I can just switch between the applications. The battery life is fantastic. It's 95% and as you see, it gives me 6 hours, 43 minutes on a talk time. Um, it, I think it's, it's pretty reasonable. Um, and um, that's really it uh, for Google Nexus One and I'll come back with more. Thank you.